I think you're going to like this one. Oh, it has lovely detailing. This must have been built in 1900, close to it. Do you know? Oh, three, I think. The previous owners had it for 70 years. She purchased it with a salary from a silent movie that she starred in. Lovely. Look at this. Can you imagine the labor that went into crafting this staircase? This neighborhood used to be full of houses like these. But they've all been torn down now. Haven't we torn down enough? I'll bet it was magnificent in its time. You know, I read in her obituary how she used to give grand parties here. The main floor looks like this. The stairway is right there. There's a rug right at the bottom of the stairs. I'd like that. The dining room has the chairs. I'll take those. Any jewelry in the place? Upstairs in the master bedroom in the dresser. Gobs of them. Very nice amber and rhinestones. While you're in there, there's a painting above the bed. I'd like that. All the books in the study. And in the hallway, top shelf, third book in, early history of the Barbary Coast, bound in leather. something floor length, maybe in black. Maybe she's got something in the closet. Sorry, Kat, don't panic. Yeah. I thought the house was empty. Please don't call This is my grandmother's house. You have to leave. to do is stay in his room, snort coke and screw me. Hmm. Rough life. Well, wouldn't mind going out to dinner once in a while. Where'd you hide the camera? In my purse, on the bed. Look, look. Who's that, you know? Uh, should I? Only if you've been watching the news. It's Edward Burke. Oh, the CEO ripped off the pension funds. You're kidding me. Hey, you sure about that? I don't recognize him from this angle. Positive. I've seen all his ID. Oh, I bet you have. Tell him what he wanted you to do. He offered me money if I could find someone to kill a man called William Sutton. I think he used to be the chief accountant for the company. Yeah, Sutton, I know. He was the employee's 401k investor. The Security and Exchange Commission has been trying to hunt him down, but he's been in hiding. This is good? Oh, yeah. 
This is very good. Good morning, gentlemen. How'd it go? Oh, it was loads of fun, wasn't it, Morris? Except those books. They're so damn heavy. It went pretty good. We got everything in there and stuff. Careful. That's Louis Couture's. things on the go that are priority. This Russian madam I've been working with, confidential informant, she brought us something juicy. She got this hooker who's been banging this Edward Burke. Oh, okay, you got my attention. Mr. Burke has been soliciting for a hitman to take down his accountant, William Sutton, before Sutton can testify against him. Back up a minute. Burke knows where Sutton's hiding? Yeah, it sounds like it. Look, I'm gonna need you to sign off on paying the madam a finder's fee. Yeah, absolutely, do whatever it takes. If we can find Sutton first, he can tell us where Burke hid all the pension funds. Yeah. And the second thing I got is a couple of players working on cracking this book thief, Rosenheim. You read the report? Yeah, I read the report. Tell me why I should care. Because nobody's watching the store. Well, guys like this crisscross the country, ripping off museums, libraries, private citizens. Huge black market, and they're taking whatever ain't nailed down. And it ain't easy getting somebody on the inside. All right, let that play out a little. Okay. But keep me in the loop on the other thing. You got it. Then you look dashing. I try, love. I try. Hey, this kind of outfit, what you had in mind? Yeah, you look great. Come on down, I'll show you what we got. Hey! Dolores, say hello to Darnell. Dolores is a member of the LAPD Art Task Force. Dolores, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So show them what you got. Joe told me a little bit about the sting you want to set up here. And Lily said the guy you're targeting is interested in books and maps. So I thought this might work as the initial bait. It's the real deal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We confiscated this from a raid on a drug dealer's house in Beverly Hills. And we seized it from proceeds of crime statutes. It's been circulating on the black market since World War II. And a lot of anyway, these things... Anyway, right along. Okay, why don't you just fill me in on all the things I should look for in that All right, well, there are a few things here. One is general appearance. Does the paper look old? Are the inks correct for the period? I understand you're a quick study. Oh, I took a little art history in college. I know the basics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse us. I've assembled a few books for you. So we're getting to you here to brush up. Then we'll set up a time to intro him to your friend Maxwell. In the meantime, we'll get you to buy a couple of books from Max to set up this thing. Mm -hmm. By the way... Nope, he really seems to give a damn about this guy, so let's make sure it's gonna pay off in spades. It's not like this guy isn't returning library books. This is our national heritage. Hey, you're preaching to the choir, baby. So the way we're gonna do this, Gina intros Heather as the girlfriend. All right, so we're lovers, right? Yeah, I'll be in the hotel room, I'll be on your arm, whatever. I mean, he won't ask any questions. You okay with that? Yeah, I'll swing with it. Okay, and then you tell him that I know a pro who can do the killing. Right, and all we need from you is to do the introductions. Then we want you safe and out of the way, and we'll handle it from there. Okay, yeah, that sounds okay. You guys got a flight back to Vegas, you better head out. All right, so I'll call you, you can fill me in with the details. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Of course. Okay, what does she want for doing this? She's facing a couple of extortion charges in Australia, and they're trying to extradite her. So she wants those dropped. What else? A green card. A green card? I'll see what I can do. It shouldn't be a problem. Now, on your deal, I talked to business affairs. You can get a percentage of the money up to 200 grand if we get a conviction. All right, good. Thank you. This is good. Brought me a big fish. Now let's see if we can catch it. Maxwell, nice to see you again. Lovely to see you. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, sure. I'm sorry. I've been so busy doing inventory. It's crazy making. I forgot what a chore it is. 
I've been wondering about your background. Have you been in the business long? My family has. My grandfather had a valuable library, and I actually just got into it a few years ago. Well, I have something very special I want to show you. In their expedition, Lewis and Clark both kept extensive journals and wrote a lot of letters. Do you mind if I get this? He is a little bit early, but I'm not sure how long he's going to be in town. Go right ahead. Thank you. I can come back another day. No, that's fine. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just finishing up with another customer. Oh, oh all right, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We were just looking at some things. What have you got there? Do you mind my asking? Not at all. It's some early Americana. Please. It's some Lewis and Clark correspondence. Really? It's fascinating. And yourself? What do you have in the portfolio? Oh. The mid-18th century geographical charts from the Cook expedition. Captain Cook? Yes, that's right. From his third expedition to the Outer Hawaiian Islands. Oh, look at this. Look. <laughs> oh, how rude of me. I could show them to you if you like. Please. Thank you. Mm. You're really quite marvelous. You. you guys want me to leave? No, no. I wanted Ed to meet you. I was telling him that you had a friend that could help him. Oh, you mean Lee? Yeah, Lee. He's a good friend of yours? Yeah, well, he's an old boyfriend from before. I mean, if you want to meet him or if you want me to talk to him for you, it doesn't matter. I mean, Lee's cool. Um, I'm going to think about it for a bit, but uh, I appreciate it. You think about it. I'm gonna go and shoot some craps, get some dinner. How long have you known her? Two years. She's a really good person. Very honest. I wish this would all just go away. Well, stop doing so much coke. It makes you so paranoid. Just make up your mind to do it, it will go away. You're right. You're right. I should just I should just call this guy. Well, hey, I'm gonna go take a shower, all right? I'm gonna stay in tonight, okay? It's fine by me. How are you doing? Heard you folks came all the way out from Vegas. That's right. Can I get you something to drink? Well, I got one coming on. So how about you girls give me and Ed here a couple of minutes to get some things straightened out? Yeah, sure. We'll get out of your hair and let you guys talk it over. No, I'm not sure this is the appropriate time or place for uh, this conversation. Well, if you want a little privacy, I got my car outside. You know, I think that might be premature. I just wanted to meet you. A couple other candidates for the job. Oh, I understand that. I see, I like to take measure of a man before I settle down to business. I think I'll just take in some of the scenery while I'm here. Well, my wife, take care. Good to meet you. Hey, I thought you wanted to talk to him. Now you just change your mind. I'm just not comfortable discussing the subject in a place like this. That's none of my business. I don't care either way, but I know Lee. 
we wait too long, he's going to get busy and walk away from it. I understand. You tell him we'll be in touch, okay? Sure. He's nervous. All he needs is a little convincing that you're the man for the job. What's he want? A demonstration of what? He wants you to kill his wife. What? Uh, this guy. He can't make up his mind. Who to kill or who to hire to do it. I know. He says he needs you to prove to him that you can do it. He doesn't want to hire someone that he's not convinced has experience. I'll convince him. I just need to meet him alone and in my car. We'll work on that. Yeah, I'll persuade him. This one is 22,000, and this one is slightly higher. I'd let it go for 25. That's very reasonable. Very reasonable. I've made some inquiries, and I think I can make a sale. I have a client who's more or less given me the go-ahead to acquire them. Fantastic. Who's the client, may I ask? He's asked for discretion in the sale. I understand. And I hope you won't take offense, but I have a policy of meeting the eventual owner of anything I sell, not just the broker. I've had the experience of selling some very important documents to individuals who are, shall we say, less than reputable. Let me make a phone call and see if they'll make an exception. It can't hurt to try. Stella, may I use the phone? Please, go right ahead. going to have to come down here in person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He understands. And he's going to find the time to come down here and have a look. This isn't going to work. What's wrong now? Forgive me, I have just a few things on my mind. Well, don't start getting mad at me. I'm not your problem. I'm going to go to jail for 20 years. You want me to be cool and calm about this? Look, all I said was that you got to stop beating around the bush and just make a business decision. Yeah, excuse me, Tina, but you don't decide to kill a man like you're simply going to lay off a few employees. For God's sake. Oh, come on. Well, what's the difference? Well, you're a very cold-blooded person. That's why you love me. Remember, just study the maps for a long time like you're not too sure of their authenticity. Can you remember that? Sure. Can you go over it one more time for me? This is a very important connection I'm making here. These people can really help me get back into the market with some of my things, so let's do this exactly right. Don't say too much. I'll do all the talking like we rehearsed. Right? Okay. I got my master's at Columbia, my doctorate at Oxford. Really? I was at Oxford for two semesters. I always want to get back. You were aware before that? Yeah. These are very, very fine. So we try and settle on a price. Why don't you negotiate and tell me what that is? I have another appointment. Uh, when we get a price, call me and I'll have a cashier's check tomorrow. All right. Very good. Excellent. It was very nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> I hope to see you again very soon. I hope so, too. I knew the previous owner. We've been a lot of business over the years. Oh, well, so, let's get down to business. How about your asking price less 5%? Done. I don't know much about you. Gina says you're in some kind of trouble. That's all I know. That's why I'd like to keep it. What do you need to know? Have you ever uh, done this kind of thing before? Yeah, without detail. No, I have had a little trouble with the law, but if I can take care of a little wrinkle, I'll be fine. Well, I don't have the wrinkles. That's what I do. I'm a perm press man. Hey, I need to know that you're capable. No, no. Oh, what's this clown pulling me over for? I don't want to be connected to this. No, oh, please. Yeah, don't, don't kill anybody while I'm in the car. Or we start shooting anybody, we'll see what he wants. Look, just citation, we'll let him go. How's that? 
What seems to be the problem, officer? I wasn't speeding with him. You have a broken tail light and your brake lights aren't working. Oh, come on. Give the fella a break. I'm, I'm having it fixed tomorrow. Driver's license registration. MK60 requesting a frequency to run one. Alpha 433. Requesting wants and warrants on Lee Winters, California driver's license. Hey, man. Traffic stop. Relax. I hear your heart pounding from over here. Lee Winters, no wants, no warrants. Convictions for assault, armed robbery, aggravated assault. You're a pretty bad guy, Mr. Winters. I'm reformed. Where are you headed this evening? We're on our way to church. Trying to get smart with me? Oh, sir. All right. I'm going to give you a citation for the broken tail light. Stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. Thank you. You want me to do this thing or not? Yes, I'd like you to do it. Who are we looking at? His name is, uh, William Sutton. I don't know if that means anything to you. No, sir. Don't ring your bell. He was my chief accountant. So you know if I can get you in trouble? Exactly. Well, I'm available. Next couple of weeks. After that, I'm going on. Well, we should, uh, we should probably do this. Well, I'm ready to go. This business is built on relationships. It's important to work with people you like and trust. I know. Relationships are everything. And I just want to say how much I enjoy your company. I think you're doing a wonderful job taking over the show. Thank you so much for saying that. I have been so frantic lately going over the inventory. Octopus Bookstyle, Bronco speaking. I'm on the street and ready to go. Great. No, I, no that's fine. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. I know you have things to do, so I'll just leave you alone. Let me know if you want me to be here when Mr. Morris brings the payment by. Oh, I think I want you to be here. All righty. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I just bought a collection of early Americana. You're kidding. Well, bring it in and let me have a look. <laughs> I'll be on tour. trust the guy in the first place, am I right? This character you want me to take care of, can I just or do you? I want him dead. Nowhere I can find him? Anywhere he is. So tell him I'm coming. I'm gonna shut up my name. You're paying him off to keep quiet. All right, yeah, I can tell him that I'm paying to pay him off. Good, when? In a day or two, exactly, you know, how's this gonna happen? Well, you want the specifics? Right. Well, I like to give a guy a cup to the head by on the ear, if I can. But what you mean? That's the best way to do it? If you're looking for lessons, it's going to be extra. Why are you so interested in details, sir? I'd just like to know. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. What you said.
I'm going out to dinner with Heather. Hello, Bill. It's Edward Burke. I know. Damn it, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm very busy with everything. Uh, the lawyers. How you doing? Well, I think we should just make a deal. I want to avoid any unnecessary public admissions. Hey, super, I, I don't think we should do this on the phone either. Now, I can send someone down to negotiate whatever it is you need, if that's all right. Yeah, what's your address? Yeah, hang on. All right. We'll be in the bar when you're done, okay? Yeah. Right. What's the street? All right, man. Hey, all the best to you. What's happening? Let's go. I don't have much time. I gotta go kill the guy. Hey. Okay. This is the guy that Maxwell brought him as a buyer to purchase the maps. Who is he? Kevin Moore, small-time local thief, ton of break and enter charges. He's got to be just a friend for whoever it is Maxwell's really representing in the sale. Yeah, it could be this guy. He runs this antique store where Maxwell went to meet Morris. His name is Kenneth Fontaine. Five years ago, they caught him in Ireland with some artifacts stolen from the British Museum, but he slipped out of that charge. Interpol says he's a big player. Okay, good. You got this. You don't need me. Not so far. What are you up to? I'm good, but I got to go. Hey, hey, let me know if you need some help. Okay, break the light. He's agreed to meet with you. Okay, that's good. Where? Uh, he's in Mexico, hotel. Uh, on the coast, just north of that Volco. And where are we going to meet? At the hotel. He's expecting a lawyer to come down and negotiate a settlement, so you'll call him once you get in. Okay, all right. Now, let's talk about our deal. I'm going to need 20000 cash. That's the front. And the same way it's done. Sounds reasonable. And... and when you do this, then we can talk about some other things that might need taken care of. Well, hang on now. If there's more work for me, we should talk about it now. There are other people who uh, might be making deals to testify against me with the government. All right, but I do want to mention. See, you, you said something the other night that didn't sit well with me. I'm sorry, what was that? You said you looked at some other people do the job. Now, I don't want to go down to Mexico, do a good job for you, come back and find out you've gone shopping somewhere else for the follow-up. I appreciate that kind of thing. I do this, get it right. I expect to repeat this. Why don't we just take care of Bill first? Let's just uh, take this one step at a time. If this is successful, I see no reason to go anywhere else. Not fair enough. Just one other thing. Um, Perhaps if Bill were just to disappear, nobody found the body, they might just think he was uh, trying to avoid a trial, not that he'd been killed. Now, I, I don't know, you know how difficult that is or how you feel about having to get rid of the body as well. You know, that, that's always a lot harder. Getting rid of the body is a lot more work. But my expenses, right? You have to put them a few more hours. Might be a better way to go. Well, I agree with you, but your call. I think it's better. They give me more of an opportunity to take care of some other problems. Other people? Yeah, that's right. Uh, any of these other jobs, they're going to be on a case-to-case -case basis, depending on the degree of difficulty. Yeah, I understand. Let me know. I'll be on standby. The more charges you can line up against Burke, the better chance we got of him going against his co-conspirators. Yeah, I'm thinking this might turn into a longer play. Yeah, well, let me know when you get to Acapulco. I'll call the appropriate people and they'll provide you with whatever you need, okay? You got it. Later, Joe. Let's give Stella the check, take the map, and don't hang around for a lot of chit chat. I have the check. Good. Hello. Good to see you. How's everyone? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, morning. Maxwell. Are we all set, or would you like to take him up? Excuse me. Mr. Morris, LAPD. Detective Clark Homicide. I wonder if we could speak with you outside a minute. What about? You have a warrant for your arrest? Kevin, what's going on here? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> should I call a lawyer? You'll have that opportunity. If you just step outside, we can do this a little more discreetly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just shocked. And 
I want to apologize to this movie. I had no idea he had any criminal involvement whatsoever. I'm sure you didn't. Why would you? Well, at any rate, I am embarrassed by all this, so I think I'll just head off on my way. Stella, I apologize. I'm sorry. Matt, don't take it like that. He's panicking. He can't get out of here fast enough. Okay, go back inside, find out what the hell LAPD wants with this guy, right? Um, tell him we got a major thing going on, they're messing it up. Hey, 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 call Joe, let him know. Where's Burke? Back in Vegas. Son of a... I want her Velcro to Burke. Don't let him out of your sight. Okay. You, you okay wearing a wire? Sometimes, no, all the time. We'll be as much as we can on this guy. So stick a mic in there. Right, I'll do what I can. All right, get out of here. His partner routed him out. There's no way this guy's going to walk out of here. All right, but I need to keep our sting in place, so whatever you can do to help. I'm taking this guy down for beating a woman to death. You're talking about a couple stolen books. Let's understand each other. Hey, 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 no, no, no. I understand your priorities, and I'm not trying to stop your case from going forward. I'm just trying to not lose mine. You follow me? Okay, good. So if I can just watch the interview, maybe I can figure out some way to keep it alive. I got no problem with that. Let's do it then. I didn't hit her. Philip hit her. He was behind her. I was talking to her, apologizing for being there. There wasn't supposed to be anyone there. Check my record. I just steal things. I've never hurt anyone in my life before. How'd you know there wasn't supposed to be somebody in the house? Mr. Rosenheim went to the house, pretending to be interested in buying it. He sets up the robbery. He tells us what he wants, books and antiques, and how to break into the house. Philip and I break in, and we bring the things to Mr. Rosenheim. Where would we contact this Mr. Rosenheim? Do you know where he lives? He has a small apartment in West Hollywood. Maxwell wasn't directly involved in the murder with these other two, but I think I can use the threat of charges against them. I can try and turn them and make them a cutout. Do you trust them? We don't know. If we can turn them and get them to inform him, great. But if we get a little deeper, if he takes me into that world, then I'm on the inside as a thief. He's introduced me and given me my pedigree. Uh, then you drop kick him. Right. Make him a cutout. He's gone. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like it. Give it a shot. All right. If he starts fondling you and you think he's going to find that wire, then you just head to the nearest bathroom and you strip it off. Yeah, I can keep his tags off me. Okay. Joe's going to be calling this room here, so hopefully he'll be making his outgoing calls from this line because we have it wired. But if he decides he wants to use a public phone, please make sure that you hang off his elbow because at least we have that into the conversation. Okay. Hello. You ready? Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, uh, get a cab at the airport. Drive north 20 minutes. Take the oceanfront drive to a hotel called Nueva Puerta. 707. They'll be expecting you. Uh, just call the suite. On my way. This is going to be over tomorrow. Hmm. <sighs> Bill. Hey, it's Edward. How are you? Yeah, uh, what we spoke about, I'm going to ask a, a friend to take care of that. He'll be, uh, he'll be calling you sometime this evening. All right, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just talk after the meeting. Okay. This is more nerve-wracking than any negotiations I've ever been through. What's going to happen? Things are going to change. Maxwell Rosenheim, LAPD. We have a warrant here for your arrest. Is it about the books? No, sir, it's about a homicide. Oh, well, I had nothing to do with that. That wasn't me. Why don't you come with me and tell me about it? Can we not arrest me in front of my neighbors? I'll go along. I just want to avoid the handcuffs. Sorry, I have to do it. Around the corner, then. How's that? Let's go. This is heavy. Books. Sorry.
How you doing, man? You're Willie Sutton. Yes. Yeah. Who are you? I'm a good friend of Edward Burke. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Oh, my God, please. Please, let's take a minute to talk about this. All right, you start. You tell me why Mr. Burke wants you dead. Well, yeah, I don't... I suppose he's afraid I was going to testify against him, but I, I'm not. I won't. I won't. It's about the money. That's your fun? I manage all the offshore accounts. I know where he hid the funds. All right. How about you write down all the places you got that money here? And you and me, we can get out some of that money. And I'll just tell our friend Mr. Burke you're dead. Now, how's that sound? Good. That sounds very good. I, I, I need a pen. I, I need a pen. All right, then. You start right here. Yeah, hey, I'm here. It's done. Okay. Hey, fantastic. Okay, great. Uh, was, was he surprised? Didn't know what hit him. So, is he dead? Night's sleep. Order up some room service. We uh feel hungry all of a sudden. Hello, Mr. Rosenheim. You're wearing an FBI identification badge. I know. I'm very confused. You're with the FBI? Uh -huh. We've been running a sting operation out of the bookstore. I see. And you knew all along that I was. Trying to sell you stolen goods. Pretty much. Mm hmm. Well, I'm feeling pretty stupid and embarrassed. You know, at one time, I was an accredited university professor. I was trying to preserve some of the things I stole. I'm not just a petty thief, I care about our history. I know you do. I know your background. And I want to propose something to you. We'd like you to help us. You have a network of collectors, dealers, some less than reputable. Thieves, forgers, yes, yes. We'd like you to help us gain access to those people. All right, I understand. And this is the proposal I'd like to make. If you cooperate with us. Yes, absolutely. Let me finish. If you cooperate with us, We'll make every effort to have your charges related to the homicide reduced. All right. Absolutely. How did it turn out, okay? Yeah, fine. Where'd you leave the body? It's in the Pacific Ocean. Won't be found unless someone hooks a shark in the next couple of days. All right. Very good. Can we talk about other people? Oh, the people you want me to kill? Yeah, that's right. Okay. On the board of directors, I'm having a few problems with some folks who are about to cut deals with the district attorney. Oh. Well, uh, I can get you a list. And we can just go through them one after the other. Boom, 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 boom. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. If one of your best friends was suspected of murder, how far would you go to find the truth? Joey, we're on the same side. I'm trying to figure this thing out myself. They wired in this car. You have no idea what you're involved with. Joe Pantoliano, Lou Diamond Phillips. You make deals with devils. The Handler, all new CBS next Friday.
tonight on an all-new Halloween Late Show. Go trick-or-treating at Days with Kids in Costumes, plus Pamela Anderson and bad expert Amanda Lawler. First, your local news.